Now, in times like this, we often turn to Nazareth College political science professor Tim Nealon for some perspective, some insight. Christian Garzon interviewed him this evening and joins us now. Christian. Well, Adam, Professor Nealon says what we saw today started out as an outdoor, legal, peaceful protest, but what it turned into was pandemonium and an attack at the center of our democracy. But through it all, leaders in Washington pulled together, and the people's business is still getting done. The Capitol under the control today by Trump supporters trying to disrupt the Electoral College certification of President-elect Joe Biden. But if you think these scenes from today were a protest, political science professor Timothy Neeland of Nazareth College says think again. What we're seeing uh, tonight is not a protest because it's gone from speech to physical acts of violence to um, intimidation to breaking of, uh, federal, I mean, vandalizing federal property. Property. Neelan says the group, at one time estimated to be as large as 150,000, seemed to be motivated by unfounded claims of election fraud. The outcome, he says, predictable. I am not surprised to see this because we've seen violence at Trump rallies before. Neelan feels the group was misguided, possibly caught up in conspiracy, and didn't have a full understanding of the Constitution. Congress really had no power to overturn the election unless there were disputes from the states. During the storming of the Capitol, President-elect Joe Biden challenged President Donald Trump to take to the airwaves and condemn the commotion. Trump eventually did, calling for peace and asking the mob to go home, even as the disruption continued. But through it all, counting and certification of the Electoral College votes continued after the chaos calmed. The people's business will be conducted, and we will not be intimidated by a group of people who somehow have taken the law into their own hands. Now I want to point out again that President Trump's video was pulled from Twitter for violating standards. While calling for peace in the message, he also says the election was, quote, stolen. Adam Marine, back to you.